called Jackie Ida. Check it, check it, check it, check it. Check it, 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 check it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So you guys can tell by the intro and the title of this video. Today we are reviewing Jackie Ina's collab with Anastasia Chef's Kiss. The taste, the flavor, the points. You guys already know I'm gonna give you guys a couple of looks so you guys can get a feel of the entire palette. But before, you guys already know I love giving you guys info about whatever product I'm reviewing, um, which is why my videos are so lengthy in a good way, in a good way. So um, let's get into this information and the tutorial. Okay guys, I have my little notes here. So the palette alone retails for $45. You guys already know it includes a mirror and a little brush or if you don't know they you like the standard Anastasia palette usually always co um, comes with the little brush and mirror and then you can also get the PR package which is $55 oh my god my bra showing I'm so sorry so here's the palette if you guys can see in her video she said it looks like a taupey color and it does but then when you start moving it it's that shift of color and it just looks so cool so like holographic you know and it has this material i don't know how to explain it i don't know it just it just feels really nice and luxurious and when i saw this i was like this is so jackie like she would do something so extra like this as usual um anastasia's like this again like the standard palette is always 14 shades so in this palette it has 14 shades you have six mattes six metallics two sparkling golds which have a different kind of like texture they're shimmers but like it, it's like it has more texture to it i'm gonna throw up some swatches so you guys can see them right now i don't care about swatches you guys already know that um i care for how they perform on the eyes but there will be swatches for you guys up there this palette is limited edition it's cruelty free the shelf life is 12 months again it comes with a brush and a mirror and it's already available for you guys to purchase right now now again i really wanted to create a couple of looks so you guys can get a feel of the entire palette also you guys i'm gonna put up a picture um that i got from trend mood where she put the norvina palette the modern renaissance palette and jackie's palette together so you guys can see the difference in shadows now i like to think and i said it in the video that shadows are need to kind of be like foundations where they need to have different undertones as well to suit different skin tones so even though they fall in the same category as like you know a lot of them all of three palettes have browns and stuff and like reds and like the shimmers um are like pinks and greens and stuff they all have different undertones so they're not necessarily all the same you know what i'm saying so i hope that this picture kind of helps you um make decision on wanting to get the palette or not um but yeah i thought i would put this up here um i don't think i have anything else to say so we'll get right into the tutorial okay guys so i'm gonna take the jackie aina palette and i'm gonna go in with the color um, can you guys see it? Credit, which is a very matte, deep brown. It doesn't have a lot of fallout, tiny bit. You guys know how I feel about fallout. I, I hate it just because I feel like you'll go through the shadows so quickly. Um, but I know some people don't mind it, which you know what? If you don't mind, that's fine. Um, so I'm going to put that on the outer portion of my eye. So I watched Jackie Ina's video in the morning. Again, just so I can make sure I have like all of my info. And, um, you know, hearing her talk about the palette, she says she wanted to create a palette where medium deep to darker skin tones can utilize this palette. I like to think that eyeshadows are like foundations we need undertones that suit every skin tone including darker skin. because obviously this industry this beauty community really needs that i know that a lot of like my mutuals who are of deeper complexions and where some shadows aren't the most flattering on them and i think that's the reason why jackie aina is such a positive like force in this industry she has really strived to make a difference within the community in terms of diversity and you know she gets a lot of backlash for it but it's like a lot of people and then a lot of people like to say that she makes everything about race but it's like if like brands were to just include people of color maybe maybe we wouldn't have to talk about race you know what i'm saying i'm just saying like i don't know if you like if some people can get that through their head or you know i'm just saying i think i think that's one of the reasons why honestly to me it was really exciting to see a black woman it when a woman of color like come out with a palette 
that with a brand that is so huge like ABH because it it's inspiring it it lets people know especially people of color especially black creators that hey you too can be in this position and like there's room for you too you know what I'm saying so like I could, I could get a little emotional but like that really makes me happy to see that and like just congrats jackie because i don't know that that shit is fucking cool i'm so sorry like out of all like the companies abh like abh is a huge as brand and they're always like great quality you know what i'm saying the name of these shadows are so funny you have dwellers which is definitely a name that she always says i always hear it in her videos she has big wig and edges i oh sponsored is a good one i'm gonna take a little bit of edges and i'm gonna use that to blend on top of reddit just a little bit and honestly i'm never disappointed with anastasia's shadow quality they're always really really good honestly i can't even shit on subculture anymore because subculture was just like way ahead of its time and it is actually a really good palette and i always bring it up every time i'm reviewing one of anastasia's palette because to be honest with you i think we we really treated it really badly and it was actually a really good palette hey guys this is kind of weird but i kind of want to just pick up a little bit of supreme just a little 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 bit and then tap off the axis and I just want to place this on the outer portion of the eye I don't know why I did it to the other eye and I can see like the small hints of that pink so I just want to put it on the other eye as well kind of like on the outer portion and then going up and then blending it kind of into my brow just like so I don't know it gives it like this really nice gradient and I just kind of liked it she's definitely a supreme and I'm just gonna blend her up here as well so I really wanted to use the three shimmers right here which is Soleil, Zam, and Wigglies. I like Wigglies. That's a cute name. I really wanted to utilize them and create like a gradient like I did on this side and it looks really really nice. So I'm gonna take Soleil on a flat um, brush. You could wet the brush to intensify it but Anastasia's um, shimmers don't really ever need to be like wet because they're pretty intense. So I'm just gonna pack on Soleil on the inner portion of my eye. Soleil is like a peachy gold color. And you know what? I bet you anything that we can use this as a highlight. I'll probably try that right now. I'm just gonna pack this into the inner portion of my eye. Then I'm gonna take Zam, which is a rose gold. This is one of the shadows that has like a different um, formula, to, formula to it. It's supposed to be a sparkly um, rose gold. Jackie said it was kind of like the ones in Norvina's palette, which is true. It has like a different um, texture to it. It's in, it feels more like um, glittery and textured. These type of shadows you do not need to wet because they're already pretty intense. So I'm just gonna put that next to Soleil and kind of blend them into each other because I'm creating like a really nice gradient. And then I'm gonna take Wigglies. I really like this shadow. It's really pretty. Man, just like a wash of this all over the lid. Phew, fire. Look at that. It's so beautiful. And it just blends in really nicely with the rest of the colors. And now that I have that down, I'm going to go back in with credit. And I'm going to add it to the uh, uh, little, I can't speak, the outer portion of my eye. Okay, guys, I'm going to take credit. And that's what I'm going to use to um, smoke out my waterline. I am so sorry that you guys have to witness me stabbing my eye all the time i swear i don't do it on purpose okay it's just like again like i think i said this like a bajillion of times my eyes are just not ever sensitive um so i am so sorry you could like fast forward this part then i'm gonna take edges and smoke that out i'm so sorry if the mirror is in the way every time i do my waterline i have to be like you know okay now this is where i'm gonna take a little bit of supreme you guys probably can't see it but i can i could see the little wash of pink underneath my eye and i think it's so freaking pretty plus i connect it to like the outer portion of my eye and everything just like is cohesive you know what i'm saying it flows hey guys i'm gonna take trust issues and this is what i'm gonna pop in the inner corner right here just a little bit because it looks so pretty i really wanted to use it you guys see that pop She's cute. Okay, guys, so I filmed this look um, in my mom's room so you guys can see the shimmer. It's really pretty. Um, we're going to get into the second and third look. If you can hear my fan, I am so sorry. Okay. Okay, guys, so this is the second look. I really wanted to give you guys an easier look. Um, it's literally only two shadows and then the inner corner. I took pinker and I put it all over the lid. Um, I used like a flat 
type of fluffy brush to do this with and then I took um, Supreme and I blended that on top of pinker and I took it outwards as well kind of like a circle I really like doing that circle type of shape on my eye and then I went back in with pinker um, because sometimes it tends to disappear when I get my transition shade and I just blended all of them together I kind of skipped the waterline because I feel so bad that you guys have to see me stab my waterline um, by the way the lashes that I use in all three looks are the makeup shacks in the style Dubai and here is the second look very very simple very easy to do and we're gonna get into the third one y'all finally the last look thank you god because my poor eyes my poor face it they need help anyways i took the color big wig now you guys know i really really hate purples or if you don't know i hate them so much i feel like they're like the shadow that is kind of hard to formulate and sometimes it's just it's just like a big patchy mess this one is really really nice i do notice that it's a bit of a darker purple which makes sense um because again like the palette was created with undertones that were a little probably deeper for a deeper complexion so it makes a lot of sense and then i took supreme actually supreme after i finished this video i put it on as blush and it made a really really pretty blush as well as soleil and trust issues can be used as highlights so that's really cool um i put trust issues all over my lid with a flat like synthetic brush i also picked it up with my finger but i didn't show that part because i'm really trying to not make these clips so long for you guys i'm sorry and then i um gave myself a small wing and i also added that color on the waterline and i added um i forgot the shadow's name i'm so sorry it's just like i already did this voiceover so many times oh yes i added trust issues in the inner corner of my eye all right you guys we'll get into my thoughts on this palette y'all we are done with the looks thank god because i've been at this all day my poor face it's definitely gonna need some self some just love tonight because my skin so this was the last look i'll put a little close-up so that you guys can see it i really 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 liked it and i think i utilized most of the shadows i think i only used about let me see One, two. i used nine out of the 14 shadows in this palette which i think is pretty good so now i'll get into my final thoughts but before that i forgot to mention in the beginning with the pr package comes this little holographic bag right here i forgot to mention that sorry but i wanted to mention it so for my final thoughts i rate this a 10 out of 10 i really like all of the colors in this palette it's obviously jackie's palette and it's it's the shadows that she would wear on like a daily basis i never have any issues with anastasia's quality like their quality is just always really really good when it comes to shadows also i want to mention that even though jackie said yes that the palettes you know and the tones were made specifically so that they can be used on medium to deep darker skin tones she also said that this palette is for everyone else as well and i could testify to that because i have a lighter complexion and the shadows look really really good on me so please don't be hesitant on getting the palette i mean of course if you want to but like don't be afraid of getting it because you think the tones won't fit you again i have a lighter complexion i'm like light to medium type of way because i'm very yellow um but they suited me really really well and it's really nice to just see different undertones in shadows there's minimal fallout i know some of you guys don't care about fallout I always do I know I'm so sorry I'm annoying about that and what's great about the palette is that you have like shadows that you can create like a crazy bold look like this or if you want to tone it down you obviously have like these warm tones in here now I did use trust issues as a highlight if you guys can see it looks so so pretty and I used Soleil as a highlight in the first look that's the highlight that I was wearing so if you want you could utilize Soleil and trust issues as a highlight maybe even Zam as well and honestly I think wiggle is you could probably use it like for deeper complexions you could probably use it as a blush which would be really really cool I bet you you could probably use supreme as a blush too man I feel like eyeshadows that's why I love eyeshadows because you can just use them um, for different like multi uses you know what I'm saying but yeah you guys I don't think I have anything else to say anymore um, congrats again to Jackie and yeah you guys thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys